Afternoon YouTube, it's Jeff with TBL Outdoors. Wanted to go over a couple things with my compass. Changed a few things, added a few things. Had a really good day fishing on it yesterday. And I thought I'd share a little bit of what made it a success. Plus I was asked a few questions about how do I get some of the still pictures uh, using my phone on, on this, this boat and on my Pro Angler, I, I use the same setup. So I'm gonna get to it and show you what I got. All right, guys, so obviously you can see it from the rear. I have the Yak Attack Black Pack. This was the key to sheep's head fishing yesterday. Let's show you how it's updated. You can see the new canoe hinges on it. Uh, they're nice and tight, so when you open the lid, it stays open. You can see that I added some Yak Attack rails, some stainless steel eye bolts, mounted the rod holders on the sides, um, use my bungee cords for the back to hold it down and all the rod holders are forward because the rear well tapers a bit and you couldn't quite get the rod holders in on the back the only way to get it would have been to push the yak uh, yak attack black pack all the way up against the seat and then i wouldn't have had room for my cooler there so let's look inside the the black pack and i'll show you how i kept my fiddler crabs alive yesterday So right down here, I do have the upgraded bungee to hold this closed. Hopefully you can see that in the sun. But when we open this up, there is a three gallon waste basket. It's a mainstay, it came from Walmart. It cost me about $2.86. And it is the perfect height. And it seals up against this lid. So when I close it, Nothing can crawl out. So, a couple damp pieces of cardboard, about a hundred filler crabs, kept them in. All I had to do was reach back. This stayed open for me. I could reach back and keep grabbing them and stay in my a spot on the pylons every time those little boogers stole my, my filler crab. My favorite cool, cooler, Columbia PFG coolers. The reason I like these is they come with two puncture resistant bags for the inside to keep your fish in and keep it off of your ice packs forward of that I have the Vantage seat pack from Hobie that keeps my soft plastics and my line to leaders and things like that I do love my Hobie rod holders made my own little bungees because this one didn't come with the I bought them used and they didn't have the uh, Hobie clips This was the one I used to hold my rods while I'm working In the seat getting the fish off the line We're putting new lures on and it I got it tilted just enough so that the rod tip is forward I could actually use it for trolling if I want to troll with just one rod Coming forward I'm sure some of you noticed there's a marine radio on a boom's tether and right down underneath my fish rag, you'll see a Yui Boom Bluetooth speaker. Got to have some tunes while you're out on the water, right? All right, coming around, got my water bottle. Get that out of the way. Burley Pro Seat Risers. Super easy to install. About three quarters inch higher. Allows me to put tackle boxes in there. You can see I got a couple different sizes here. And they fit under there no, no problem. Yeah, that's a bunch of mirror lures in that one and a bunch of spro jigs in that one. Flounder trout and reds, guys. Flounder trout and reds. All right, moving forward on my 180 drive, I have the stainless steel pulls. Love them. Both sides have this Yak Attack quick mount. So that if I want to use my Omega Pro rod holders uh, later in the season when I start trolling for trout, I can put those on both sides. Here's my camera mount. I got the ram ball that goes into the sail mast tube there. And then it hooks to a dog bone to, to clear the cooler up to the rest of the ram camera mount. I only use half of it because mine's only as high as I need it. This is the X-Grip for the large phones. Holds my phone in there. I can control my phone with my watch. 
take pictures it's got a five second delay gives me time to hold up the fish and smile changed out the paddle holders with the pa pro angler clips paddle clips use the bungee screw in pieces that from hobie that were in that spot and plugged in some quarter 20 stainless steel three three or four stainless steel eye bolts for my seat so i don't got to worry about that piece of plastic breaking coming around you see my fish grips you see some needle nose pliers you see i do leash my rod or my uh i don't leash my rods i use rod floats but i do leash my drive i have the hobie cooler i have the eight inch hatch forward here is one of my battery mount solutions on this bucket mounted to the bottom just by cutting a couple slots in the in the bucket I mounted my Naqua 10 amp hour lithium battery and there you can see how I cut the slots and then just slid the cover through holds in there just fine I do have the Hobie uh, what do you call that thing anchor trolley this is not Hobie this is nothing but gorilla tape over a piece of rubber hose and I'm not sure if you can see it in the light but it took a beating up against the pylon yesterday this is a piece of kydex that I formed as a keel guard the front of it took a little bit of a beating up against that pylon yesterday the moisture shells and they're, they're no joke man coming back around got a little low rinse elite ti5 uh, not real happy with it it doesn't seem to work very well in shallow water anything under four feet it just it loses the depth and doesn't tell me what it is and of course you know i can pedal up to about one and a half to two foot and in dirty water i really like to know when i'm getting down that low here's another one of my recent upgrades i got to thank martin from burley pro for making these this is the raised handle see it's raised up a little bit compass and outback handle i added the hobie steering knob it was one i already had in in a bag somewhere just don't have the cap for it love that thing it made all the difference in the world yesterday coming around on this side angled almost straight up it's another one of those rob hobie rod holders in the molded rod tube and this holds my yak attack leverage net uh, it's easy to reach back I love my leverage net. I net a lot of fish in this thing. It's really strong. Just snaps right out. And those slots slide right around that little forearm leverage piece and hold it real well. Coming back, this is a Railblazer light. 360 light. And I just attach my, with some zip ties, my thin blue line flag. This is where I kept my measuring board all day yesterday. It worked really well. It was easy to slide back in there. Two upgrades coming. Eddie Willis, when he gets his house built or finished fixing up his house in Oklahoma, he's got one more aluminum rudder for me that he's going to paint up. And that's going to replace that stock plastic rudder. And then Louisiana Custom Kayaks. They're working on getting my marine mat black with the yellow lines and all the attachments and for the square hatch, the 8 inch hatch up front. I have a 6 inch hatch that I mounted in the back so that I could access the entire hull. And inside, powered again by the Naqua battery, I mounted uh, two LED waterproof light strips. They're Bluetooth controlled, and when I turn them on with the seagrass, it lights up the whole hull. It just looks like it's glowing, like a glow worm. I can change the colors, and it changes the color of the kayak. I can make it bright yellow, bright green. Uh, if I turn it on red, it makes it kind of orange looking. It's pretty cool. And of course, I can make it flash and do all kinds of funny things, but I just kind of like the solid lights, and I don't like getting run over by power boats when I'm out on the water. So that's what I got. Any suggestions? 
let me know I am looking for a hard wheel cart right there I have the Hobie beach wheel cart uh, tracks 30 but I need something with hard wheels for when I'm at boat ramps I'm looking at two I'm looking at the Hobie HD because I also have a pro angler uh, 14 and I don't really want to buy separate wheels for everything I own or I'm looking at the wilderness cart not using the scupper holes at all because getting the cart into the scuppers scupper holes when it's loaded can be, everybody knows that can be a challenge all right, YouTube, once again, this is Jeff with TBL Outdoors. Tight lines, everybody.